This is Matt McGee at the uh, U2 Academic Conference with Anthony DeCurtis. Just gave an uh, excellent opening uh, speech and presentation. Anthony, thanks for uh, chatting with us for a couple minutes. Oh, by all means, I'm happy to. You, uh, you talked uh, real early in your presentation about that famous Bono quote from 1981, the Rolling Stone article, where he says, I think we're meant to be one of the great bands, the Who, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, etc. Uh, in your mind, if they quit tomorrow, is there any doubt that they've reached that status? Oh, no, I think they've reached that status. Yeah, I mean, the, the funny thing about that statement is that it, it seems so preposterous, you know, when you read it. But in fact, you know, it was uh, prescient. You know, I think that there's a, a sense about having that degree of ambition. Uh, you know, it, it, it's almost like a kind of visualization. You know, if you don't believe it, it's unlikely to happen. And so that, you know, even as, you know, it, again, it sounds like an insane thing for somebody in a, in a baby band to say, it, you know, he made good on it. So if they've reached that status, in your mind, from the conversations you've had with them over the years, what keeps them going at this point? Well, you know, I think in a way that, um, I mean, obviously all of us, uh, and, and, and with good reason, I mean, CU2 is very high mind. You know, I think that, you know, they engage important issues and they care about the world and all this. But, you know, they're also extremely competitive. I think that they, uh, you know, I, I mean, in a funny way, I mean, as, as sort of fancy as, say, people think someone like Mick Jagger is or, you know, the Stones or somewhere, I think the Stones sort of think of themselves as a working band. You know, like they're, you know, it's almost like everyone reverts to type. And I think in the case of you too, I think they see themselves as, you know, this is what we do. We do it on a big scale. We get out there and we don't want to be ushered off the stage. You know, I think that there's a sense of, you know, an insistence on their ongoing relevance. And, you know, so they're going to do it for as long as it makes sense for them to do it. I mean, it's very interesting. I don't know if you've seen the current issue of Rolling Stone. You know, Larry Mullen's talking about his, you know, essentially, you know, the, the breakup theory of you too. I don't see it happening that way. You know, I think. Uh, how, how, how do you see that? Is, is there going to be the, this big farewell thing, or is it just going to be, that's it, we're done? I think they're going to continue to do it uh, for as long as it makes sense to do it, for as long as, you know, unless if someone dies, or unless, you know, some sort of external force somehow breaks up the band, but I think you two is here to stay, you know, it's a, there's a, I mean, what is going to break them up at this point? You know, I think that, uh, you know, they're still doing good work. You know, they're still doing very incredible work, you know? I mean, I was sort of half joking, you know, that there's sure to be the, you know, the greatest hits 2000 to 2010, but that's going to be a good collection, you know? And, and um, as long as you're doing interesting stuff and you're engaged with it, and, and especially if you feel that fight to hold on to the, you know, to hold on to the, uh, you know, your, your status as one of those big bands, you know. I don't know what, what, what could withstand that, you know. <laughs> um, one last question for you. The, uh, you talked about uh, the Rolling Stones a little bit as well. Um, they continue to tour every so often, but it's more of a greatest hits tour when they go out. Yeah. Um, and U2 has not reached that point. How have they not hit the point of becoming this, this greatest hits? I think set? U2 has made better records. You know, better records later in their career. You know, I think if the Rolling Stones made a record where, you know, you had a uh, you know, beautiful day or, you know, you had songs that really, uh, you know, became a, as much a part of their canon as, you know, Brown Sugar or something like that. But, you know, unfortunately, you know, they haven't done that. I mean, the records have been pretty good. I mean, look, I'm a big fan. I can listen to them and, and take pleasure in them. But, you know, they're not great records. You know, I think YouTube has made great records. And so that... You know, that makes a difference. Uh, you know, you don't have to do, you know, your previous greatest hits if you're having current hits. You know, if you're coming up with Vertigo, you know, I mean, Vertigo can, you know, sit in your set pretty comfortably against, you know, all of the earlier songs. So, you know, that I think is the, is the main difference. And why that's happening, I mean, that's, you know, difficult to understand, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy for it. Oh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it's really it. a pleasure. Thank you.